some men have made you. You're so like the lady with her mystic smile. Is it only because you're lonely? My name is Sharon Small, and I'm 26 years old. I'm a Vancouver local. Uh, I'm recently off the street. I am three years clean off of drugs, and I have a happy life now. <laughs> I don't know, I play music, promote world kindness. Why did I quit? Because I knew I deserved it. I forgot I deserved it at, that, at one little point. I was afraid of reality. Sometimes reality is a little bit too painful to deal with. And that's a good escape. Where my heart was, like, at that point, it was just one shit show on top of another, let's just say that. You're completely vulnerable. You're completely vulnerable. You're fucking sleeping outside on the sidewalk. Like anybody, can people can pee on you? Like, do people fucking throw shit at you? Looks like you want fucking fire? Like, yeah, try to beat you up. It's fucking, guys will try to rape you if you're a chick and you're fucking sleeping all by yourself. Like, it's like, and the best hiding, the best places to sleep are the most hidden because that's where the cops can't find you and wake you up, right? So you're, they just feel like there's nothing left. They feel like there's nobody to go to, feel that they've already fucked up too much, that all the people in their life that loved them don't trust them anymore because they were stolen, th stolen from them, or like, those people have lost their faith in themselves, you know? They lose faith in themselves and then, and they're fucking terrified of reality. They're like, if I get sober, I'm gonna fucking know all the shitty stuff that I've done. And it's like the fear, it's the fear of facing that reality. You know what I mean? Of facing the reality that put them in that face in the first place. Of facing the reality of what, what their life has come to now. When you're staring at yourself and you got bruises from your neck to your fucking fingertips, you don't have a very high opinion of yourself. You're fucking deteriorating. And you know that you've done it to yourself. What's the point in waking up, you know? That's a scary place to be. I had a dream. I had a really vivid dream about all my friends and all my family we're sitting around a big table and everyone was turning the table. You know like in those Chinese buffs, those Japanese where things, the tables yeah. turn or whatever? It was like that, but these people were, it was my friends and they were showing up in front of me and like holding pictures of me when they met me and pictures of me at that time, you know? And before I relapsed, I was like a huge promoter and getting clean and like living a healthy life and taking care of your body and like, I was totally about that. And then I relapsed because my, mo my adopted mother had a heart attack. And my dog passed away in a three-year three year relationship, I think. <laughs> so it was just a little bit too much reality at the time. And it's, you can make all the excuses you want in the world. You can make all the fucking excuses. It doesn't change what you do. It doesn't change how stupid you are <laughs> for doing them. It's kind of, I'm kind of a simple kind of person, you know what I mean? Like, you know that song, uh, have you heard the song by Dean Martin? A dreamer with a penny or whatever? I'd rather be a dreamer with a penny than a rich man with a worried mind. Here am I with wealth untold. The moonlight is my silver, the sunshine is my gold. I like singing in the streets because instead of waiting, a bunch of people waiting in a big, auditorium or theater waiting for you to sound good. I have people stop their daily lives and notice that I sound good on the street. Like they don't, they don't expect that. I like to surprise. I don't like doing things other people say. I'll read you something. I wrote it in response to um, a very, something that somebody, one of my friends who was very sad said to me, like, And it's, it's like, they, it's to show them like, that I knew how they felt. I know how you feel when that sweet taste of steel rushing up behind your brain, a radical substance in your veins. The first hit you thought opened your eyes, but it was really the first step you took to ruining your life. Your friends have all left you. You're cast out on your own because of the fear that you'd bring it to, you'd bring it to their home. And then again, to your surprise, You've won the reward because life has now given you another fork in the road. But, were, were, but was it really ever gone? Or did, I, or did I need to take a rest? 
stop killing my soul from the inside out and start treating me the best. Oh, no!